The early days of airmail services in the United States were truly remarkable. With the invention of airplanes, the United States Postal Service took to the skies, revolutionizing the way mail was delivered. Today, we're going to take a journey back in time and explore the stunning old photos from the early days of airmail delivery in America, from the 1910s to the 1930s. These rare and historic photographs capture the planes, pilots, and support staff that made airmail services possible. From the early biplanes to the larger and more advanced aircraft, these images provide a fascinating look at the evolution of airmail technology. But what made these photos truly special is the sense of adventure and excitement they convey. For the pilots and support staff involved in airmail services, this was a new and thrilling experience that required courage, skill, and dedication. Let's start our journey by going back to February 18, 1911. On that day, Fred Wiseman transported two letters from Petaluma, California, to Santa Rosa, California, becoming the pilot who carried the first airmail sanctioned by a U.S. Postal Authority. This marked a significant milestone in the history of airmail delivery. Fast forward to May 15, 1918, when the first scheduled U.S. airmail service began. The service used six converted United States Army Air Service Curtis JN-4HM Jenny biplanes flown by Army pilots. These early mail planes had no reliable instruments or radios, so pilots had to navigate using landmarks and dead reckoning. Forced landings were common due to bad weather, but fatalities were rare thanks to the plane's small size and maneuverability. To improve delivery time and entice the public to use airmail, the Department of Post Office had plans for a transcontinental air route from New York to San Francisco. The route opened in segments, with the final leg opening on September 8, 1920. This transcontinental route revolutionized long-haul mail delivery and reduced the cross-country travel time significantly. But flying in those early planes was no easy task. Pilots flew in open cockpits, facing unpredictable weather and relying on planes described as a nervous collection of whistling wires. Inexperience and unreliable equipment led to frequent crashes, and sadly, 34 airmail pilots lost their lives between 1918 and 1927. The early airmail service also introduced special-purpose U.S. airmail stamps. The first stamp, issued on May 13, 1918, depicted the Army JN-4 aircraft that made the first airmail flight. The rate for airmail letters started at 24 cents per ounce and later dropped to 16 cents and then 6 cents per ounce. In 1926, the exclusive transportation of flown mails by government-operated aircraft came to an end and commercial air carriers took over the routes. However, the airmail service faced a major setback in 1934 when all contracts were cancelled due to the airmail scandal. Despite the challenges, airmail delivery continued to evolve, and in 1975, domestic airmail became obsolete as a distinct extra fee service. In 1995, international airmail followed suit as the USPS began transporting all first-class long-distance intercity mail by air on a routine basis. These stunning old photos from the early days of airmail delivery in America provide a glimpse into a time when mail was delivered by brave pilots in open cockpits. Join us as we explore the untold stories behind these incredible images and uncover the fascinating history of airmail delivery in the United States.